What are these people running from? They're not. They're running to the best playoff competition in town. Tonight, the Nashville Predators take on the Vancouver Canucks. It's the classic battle between the country folkies and the West Coast yogis. And now, here's two guys who like various positions, Kenny Blankenship and Vic Romano. Oh, yeah. Welcome, everybody. It's exciting times, Kenny. Playoff hockey is back in Vancouver, and it all starts tonight at No Signal Arena. I've been working out and ready to flip a car or two, Vic. Kenny, it's because of attitudes like that that we can't have nice things, and we're known as the No Fun City. Think of how rioting affects the public and businesses. Businesses? Have you seen the four lease signs, Vic? There's no businesses to loot downtown. Yeah, fair point. It's the first round and game one at No Signal Arena. As the Nashville Predators take on the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, doggy, it's exciting to have playoff hockey once again in the city. You know. First period, Nashville with the puck and a big stop by Demko. Let's take a closer look at that with our BC Highway overpass impact replay. Yeah, Vic. Demko saying, damn no, to former Canuck Anthony Beauvillier to start this game off. Later in the first, off the faceoff, it would be Nashville to open the scoring in this game. Second period and just 47 seconds in, Lindholm with the puck would fire it past Saros, and that would inject some life back into the building. Puck down in the Canucks and now. Oh! Let's take another look on our BC Highway Overpass Impact replay. Yeah, Vic. Myers doing his best Lieutenant Dan impression, telling Zucker to get down and shut up. Fred's on a power play, and it's Ryan O'Reilly sending them back into the lead. Puck still down in the Canucks end. Oh. Let's take another look on our BC Highway Overpass Impact replay. And right here, Vic, Zadora forces Nyquist to change careers to an impressionist with his face. Third period now, and it's Quinn Hughes firing a long-range puck, and it ends up sailing past Saros. And Al Murdoch couldn't even finish the goal announcement, as just 12 seconds later, Garland finds Joshua, who finds the back of the net. Still in the third period. Oh! Let's take a look on our BC Highway Overpass Impact Replay. Yeah, Vic! Zadorov splurges and pays the extra to send that hit via airmail. Right you are, Ken. Preds would pull Saros and the pressure was on, but Dakota Joshua would find the empty net and score his second goal of the game. And that would do it. Canucks end up taking game one by a score of four to two. Whoa, Vic! Not going to lie, things were pretty tense near the end there. My butt hasn't been that clenched since I stumbled into the pump jack, but Canucks win and are off to a good start with their unofficial playoff slogan. Go get eliminated!